Hello and welcome back to another episode of Power Rangers Lore. Today we're going to be talking about the epic battle between Godzilla and the Dragon Zord in the newest issue of Power Rangers vs. Godzilla. Now, in this issue of Godzilla vs. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number one, it is a monster brawl to be remembered. Like, I mean, seriously, it is a quite epic battle. And I posted up earlier as a, in a little post of, like, who would win, Godzilla or the Dragon Zord? And I think a lot of you are voting for the Dragon Zord. Well, spoil alert, tell you right now, he doesn't win. In this, at least in this first batch, Godzilla just tears him anew. And I'll go through the whole comic with you guys really quickly. It is a pretty good storyline so far. It basically, what happens in the beginning of the series is how would Godzilla even get in this fight? Well, Rita's looking for a way to another universe because she can't defeat the Power Rangers, so she's going to just go to another one. Now, this is not the same timeline as the basic, the comic book series of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers or stuff like that. This is its own series and own thing, so do not connect to any of the other things. It's basically just its own standalone series. So don't try to connect any dots to any of the series currently going on in the comics or any of the past ones. Just mind you that. So she finds this gem, kills all these monks with her cronings, and they go to another dimension. However, she also brings out Tommy, who's trying to stop them, in his Green Ranger form. Now they wake up in none other than Angel Grove, but not of their universe. They don't have the Power Rangers protect them. They have, instead, Godzilla, who's fighting off these monsters. And who, are all, who is sending these monsters to fight Godzilla? But none other than the aliens of Planet X. If you don't know anything of Godzilla, well... Uh, I don't want to go into the full detail about them, but basically all the reasons from the alien monsters, such as Ghidorah and stuff like that, arriving on the planet from most of the monsters are these aliens known as creatures from Planet X. They all look human, but they wear really weird things, like, I don't know, you'll have to see. But basically there's you know, aliens trying to conquer Earth for the resources, because we believe that humanity is squandering them. Many levels we are, but hey, whatever. They're ours to deal with whatever we want with. Godzilla is currently fighting the monster of that time Rita comes over says oh well she can take over this monster tries to mind control it fails she's going what the hell is resisting my magic who knew that's Godzilla well that's when Tommy wakes up it's still in his ranger form looks up and he sees this monster looks down sees Angel Grove sign goes oh my god this monster Rita's done sent this monster to attack us I've been how long how long have I been out so he summons the dragon sword which means that that sword is basically being summoned interdimensionally so the water just rising up is just an interdimensional summons itself. That's pretty awesome. So first thing Godzilla sees is a metal version of himself there. The battle goes down. It is a bloody battle. Like he is taking chunks out of Godzilla, but Godzilla is also beating the crap out of the Dragon Sword right then and there. Throws him down and then Atomic breaths him. Tommy's going, what the heck is going on here? None of our other monsters have done this before. And that's where it basically ends with him about to be destroyed well actually also the rangers show up to do a little more battling but hey they haven't summoned their full zords yet and it's gonna be very interesting to see what fully happens in this epic showdown what does the rest of the series got to do with anything i don't there's no way to communicate with godzilla rather than a grudging respect like hey he's the king of the monsters respect the king of the monsters by kneeling before him but that's kind of it um i don't know what else they want us to do with that there's no real, like, it's not like the Justice like, hey, we can explain our things. We're from the heroes from this universe. You can't go to Godzilla. We're the heroes from this universe. We're sorry for punching you. He's just going to punch you and or atomic breath you to death. I don't know. I love it, though. I like Rita basically going, uh, I need to go to another dimension. I can't keep fighting the same people. We're going to be gone from here. I like the Planet X monsters going, like, what do you want, lady? <laughs> like, that's that's kind of what they do. What do you want? You're not the leader here. And then she's going, murder you. Yes, I am. So, I don't know. The battle itself is pretty cool. The art, I like it. It's a little weird, but I like it. It's not the normal art I'm used to, but it's good. It just tells you, hey, this is not connected to the other comics, so don't try to get this confused. Um, there's not really in-depth storyline. If you're just like a monster brawl, that's what you want. If you want Godzilla kicking butt and taking names, you got it. I would highly recommend this story. Go check it out, guys. It is fantastic so far. And I think it's a three-parter or six-parter. I can't quite remember. But it's definitely more than just one, one issue storyline. You guys have it going. May the power protect you always against the, I guess, uh, definitely against the power of Godzilla and his atomic breath. 
or is Corona Destroyer? Hmm. Can't say that anymore, I guess. Have a good one, guys.